Hello, Jeff Kushner from Plants Alive with your plant rental tip of the day. Um, today I had a, a couple clients come in and we were discussing uh, their upcoming event and I was explaining to them how we top dress a plant and they were wondering if there was some other way we could do it besides using Spanish moss, which is a great way to, to, to finish the product, um, but it's not, it looks good, but it's not spectacular. So uh, what I showed them was uh, there's a number of ways to do this. Let's say you have Mr. Ficus tree here. You can keep it green just by taking a couple plants. Doesn't necessarily matter. There's lots of plants you can use, but for right now we'll use pothos. And there you have a real nice, real nice underplanting. Now, if you want to go a step further and add some color, you can take, this is what they really liked. You really enjoyed the colorful look. You can do something like that. Um, which really brings the, the, whole, uh, the whole plant to life. It was, it, it, it was fun showing them that because they had no idea. Um, another way we could do it, you can see it's pretty easy. Grab a couple of these guys. These are bird's nest ferns. And just substitute. One. Two. And there you go. So there's, we call these underplantings. Um, uh, they're a lot of fun because there are, there are hundreds of ways to do it. You can use crotons, mums, azaleas, pothos, bromeliads, you name it. Um, and I think it makes the, the plant look twice as good at least because it's just a, it, it, it just, uh, it just looks good. Um, so that's your underplanting tip for the day. I'm Jeff Kushner and we'll talk to you soon.